Alright, what's up everyone? It's Mark here from Techie Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cinematic effect in Sunny Vegas. So, basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the widescreen effect, which is the two black bars. We're going to be using color correction to change it kind of from yellowy to this nice blue tint. And we're also going to apply a nice cookie cutter effect around the edges, which you can do or can't do. We'll cover that later. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. So, uh, thanks very much for the feedback on the preview of this. If you want to check it out, you can check out the link in the description. And I also just set up a new website, which is going to have several different authors, several different topics. And in celebration of that, in the link in the underbar, there's going to be a, f a few uh, free fonts that you guys can download for your videos. And uh, yes, please go check it out. Alright, so enough of that jibber jabber. We're going to get down to it. Okay, so first what we're going to do, obviously, is just create a new file and open up our boat. Or, <laughs> not our boat, but uh, our footage. I'm using a boat. This nice boat. And, uh, oh, look at that guy. Okay, so we're just going to cut it down. Well, I'm going to cut it down just for the example. Now, as you can see, it's a nice clip. It's It looks kind of normal. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the kind of widescreen effect, those two black bars. Now, when you come in here, we're going to go to the left first, and we're going to make sure size about center is ticked, and lock aspect ratio is not ticked. Okay, and we're simply going to click and drag down until, you know, you can go down here if you want, go here, whatever type of effect you're going for. You know, it's up to you personally. I kind of like it around that length. Now, you can move it down or up um, to fit your video. I think for this video, it fits perfectly in the center. And the second thing is we're going to be putting a color corrector on it. Now, what I want to say is I've seen several different videos telling you to just go use blue midtones but it depends on your clip if your clip looks very blue you're not going to want to add blue midtones on it but we'll get to that in a second so we're just going to drag down blue midtones and as you can see it looks pretty blue so i'm going to come over here to the mid this mid region here and we're going to just drag it down a small bit i'm going to go over to the high and you can see how much of a difference it can make of course you don't need to go too intense either and you can, of course, adjust the low, the high, and the medium settings. Um, so if you have an orange clip, it looks better when you kind of turn to this blue. If you have a blue clip, you can do the exact opposite if you want. I'll just show you what it, it, the uh, change is like. You can see it is very, a very dramatic change in color. The yellow and then the blue, it's completely different. The blue looks a lot better now that we know. I mean, without the blue... It looks pretty normal, but it looks a lot better with the blue tint. Now, of course, customize it however you like and fit it to your clip. Now, the last thing, which is optional, some people like it, some people don't, is the cookie cutter. Okay, so I'll just show you what this is. We're going to drag reset to none down. Okay, nothing's going to happen. Shape, we're going to select oval, and we're going to increase the feather. Now, as you can see on the corner of our videos, you can see that... that uh, that black fade coming in obviously you can increase the size if you want you know for whatever type of effect you're going for and feather it however you like to I think that looks pretty cool but then again some people won't so you can have that you can have that it depends on what type of uh, what type of feel you're going for I mean that is still a nice cinematic movie feel without the cookie cutter then again you that kind of provides another sense of just I don't know authenticity of it big Hollywood film or something but you know that's just me rambling anyway guys uh, if you'd like to check out how mine turned out or get those free fonts I was talking about make sure you check out the link in the underbar also you can find all that useless stuff like Facebook and all that stuff in the underbar also thank you very much for watching if you're new and you like this please click that subscribe button and of course uh, please click those like buttons and even add to favorites if you really did like it but I'm not gonna press you on that so uh, guys thank you very much I will see you guys next time with, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of some new stuff. I'm kind of this cinematic effect and I'm kind of trying to branch out from just basic editing. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching. Please click that link in the underbar and we'll see you later.